Hi everyone. Today I'd like to do a commentary on a good colleague of mine who compiled a series of poems and inspirational articles on the theme A Quantum Leap into the Unknown, which covered topics such as fear, hate, loneliness, mistakes, and disgust. The first post was on January 16th and ran through until September 18th, 2020. An introduction. Every time the unknown is always unknown. Some say it is known, but exactly, what exactly is the unknown? My inquisitive nature never stops pondering on this question. I really want to know this known unknown. Could it be negative or positive? Perhaps my dreams and desire. Now, what does leap mean again? Ah, it's even a quantum leap. Quantum? That is a big word with a bigger meaning. People say leap means jump. Should I conclude that a quantum leap into the unknown implies a significant jump into the unknown? Or an act of moseying into the unknown? No, that would be paradoxical. Okay, let me rephrase. A significant and complete move into the unknown. Yes, I did it. But what is this unknown? I really want to know. What about you? By Basula. I have been afraid. I have been afraid of the past. The experience of the old which bring great sorrow to my heart. It clings to me like an infant in his mother's bosom. Who would not stop until it is fully fed? But can it ever be satisfied, I asked. Impossible would be the word. The thoughts of living a world full of my past hold me tight. Yes, I have been afraid. I have been afraid of the present, hysterical by the fear of being unknown, a deep fear which mirrors reality in the larger world. Why does everyone I know not recognize me? Why do I not feel the glowing sun of friendship? Why does it seem the world has turned its back on me? I asked continuously. Yes, I've been afraid. I've been afraid of the future. The phenomenon world of the unknown where the unknown is not known. The thought of what the future has in place for me beats in my chest rapidly. So scared to overcome the Kilimanjaro that lies ahead. Staring at my face like a hungry hyena, ready to devour its prey. Yes, I have been afraid. I have been afraid of myself not taking this huge step. The step into the unknown that would lead me sprightly into action. So scared to start the journey before me. The road seems like a never-ending path. I have been afraid of everything. But not anymore. Not until I learned fear is afraid of itself. Did it release the strong grip it had on me? Not until I knew that our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, but that we are powerful beyond measures. Fear is a deceiver, a phony, I say. A heinous being that deprives a person of person of his celestial potentials and his ability to leap into the world of the unknown. Do not be afraid of fear, my reader, liberated from fear, for fear is a test for mankind, prepends the past with the present alongside the future, waiting to see those who would give in their lights. Do you feel bad when you make mistakes? Do you normally think you are so unfortunate due to the number of mistakes you've committed? Most times, people don't see mistakes as they should see them. Mistakes are not to make us feel bad and weak, at least not for a long time. A mistake itself is a mistake. Although they are bound to happen virtually, every time. Nothing can be done about it. However, mistakes do not come alone. 
They tend to bring corrections, lessons, and this is what we don't see. All humans make mistakes. What determines a person's character are the mistakes we make. It's how we take those mistakes and turn them into lessons rather than excuses. A mistake is like a person that carries a piece of luggage or baggage, always. Mr. Mistake visits and meets everybody and makes sure he gives each of us a bag. In each bag there are gifts like lessons, guilt, regret, suicide, low self-esteem, isolation, cowardice, condemnation, complaints and grumblings, determination to do better, passivity, purposelessness, apathy. Does that sound familiar? What gifts do you pick when he gives you a bag? Mr. Mistake won't pick gifts for us. It's our responsibility to pick them from his bag. What have you been picking? Don't you think it's high time we looked at mistakes from a different perspective? A different perspective that mistakes help us grow. That mistakes open our eyes to see and do more and better. Let's see it as a teacher that teaches valuable lessons. John Bradshaw asserted that it is okay to make mistakes. Mistakes are our teachers. They help us to learn. Mistakes are to be recognized, admitted, learned, and forgotten. Easier said than done. That's what you were thinking, right? Yes, it may appear difficult, but that's when learning comes in. Taking responsibility. That's the first step to courage. Own up to your mistakes, and don't tag people as scapegoats to avoid responsibility. It's totally wrong. Interestingly, mistakes help us to fine-tune our skills expose us to our true selves, learn better ways of doing things, and of course, get our priorities straight. I read some time ago that there are no mistakes, no coincidence, but blessings given to us to learn from. The only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. Yes, we are aware we don't make mistakes every time, but when we do, let's not forget to make a significant move into the unknown. It's introducing to us. The unknown that will make us feel satisfied and excited when we embrace it. And more importantly, let no time pass without looking up to the one who never makes mistakes for guidance. It's not too late. It's not too late to be happy. Loneliness is like a disease. Sorrow and sadness is like a roaring disaster. They offer nothing good, but happiness is like a gentle breeze, bringing relief and peace of mind. To them who appreciate and accept its nature, it's never too late. It will find you again. It's not too late to love. Hate cages all good things about you, making every eye oblivious of your uniqueness. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Hatred irks and offers nothing but resentment. Leap from the sphere of acrimony to the world where love never ends. It's never too late. The hours are going by. It's not too late to start again. Failure is an academy of growth for the wise. Educating you to take responsibility for your goals. Wipe your shoes off from the entwined dust of failure. Approaching your target with a new strategy. You have a chance to change the future. It's never too late. The clock is ticking. It's not too late to fly. For on the strength of a unique body part, the birds fly. Faith is to you what the wing is to the bird. With your faith, you can soar high beyond. Reaching your dreams with speed, incomprehensible. It's never too late. The sky is your starting point. the mask. We all wear a mask. But what masks? Mask of happiness or that of strength? No, they are masks that defies our true identity. Mask colored in disguise of who we truly are. A camouflage of our nature. But what is behind the mask? Behind the mask is an unending terror. Behind the mask are terror and fright. Behind the mask are fear and pain. Behind the mask, there is a fire and a rage. Behind the mask is a shadow of the past. Behind the mask, 
is an emotional meltdown of a hopeless future. Behind the mask is a being making a tumultuous roar, severely debilitated by hate and revulsion, loneliness and self-deprivation, a catastrophe. Enough of the masks and be honest for once. Walk out of the pain, the guilt and the fear. Walk out of the darkness into the sparkling light. The real happiness would not occur unless we let go of the mask. The real strength would be inactive unless the vile covering our true identity is removed. The leap into the world of the unknown would be impossible except the real you is revealed. Be tired to hide the scars and embrace the true identity of the creator. Sacrifice. Calling it a day brings the relief. Its falling leaves signify a new season. The foresight of security and freedom. To leave dead weight behind like concrete. Sacrifice. Sacrilegious. Be careful what you seek. Sanctify your sacrifice so no temptation can hide. Return of the night. Away with the old. Age is universal, though decisions change lives. Many are in awe of all the strife. Not many live the truth that was told. Who speaks the truth? Asked the wise man. Judges do, says another. The truth so vastly suffered. It's not a sham. Sacrifice, sacrilegious. The careless become bleak. Sanctify your sacrifice to set your weakness aside. Poem composed by Bill.